Good morning and welcome to another Steve at Home video. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I thought I'd show you the Ardex P10SR, which is a crack repair system. Okay, so if you've got a sand and cement screen or, or a concrete floor internally uh, and it's had a bit of dry shrinkage, there's been a little bit of movement and it's a non structural crack, then uh, ideal little kit for repairing that. All I've done, I don't know if you can see, a uh, little crack. I've opened it up a little bit with an angle grinder. Uh, just, just so it penetrates a little bit better and with this kit you've got the beauty you can cross cut uh, the floor to put some stitching pins in and I've cross cutted it uh, or it should be cross cut every uh, 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters so once we've done that obviously like anything else we do make sure there's one crusty coming out like so so when you get the kit, really easy and really simple. You get a clear liquid and a dark liquid, two bottles. You get a set of gloves and you also get the stitching pins. A lot of kits out there on the market, uh, epoxy resin type of systems, you have to source your own stitching pins. So again, nice little kit, uh, comes with everything you need. And they just drop in. And when you're uh, putting your saw cuts in, or opening your, up your crack, obviously always make sure you check to see if there's any surfaces in the floor, any um, on the floor heating pipes, electric cables, etc, etc. And they should go two thirds the depth of the screen. And as you can see, a nice little corrugated pin. Because it's an epoxy resin type of system, or a resin type of system, uh, we always wear gloves. So, and I always tend to put goggles on as well. So, really easy, really simple to use. Uh, two bottles, and uh, we always pour the clear part into the dark part, so part B goes into part A, uh, and get all that in. And I'm gonna explain in a minute why we do that. Every last drop. Go. Put the cap on and we shake this now rigorously for 15 seconds. Once we're shaking it for 15 seconds, we leave it uh, standing for three minutes just to let it uh, start activating. So just leave that sitting there just before we uh, uh, the reason why we always keep the clear bottle is if you can see some measurements on the side and if we need to make a smaller kit we can just use uh, the measurements because it's a one-to-one -one ratio to work out what we need okay once the uh, three minutes is up uh, we've now got the bottle we now cut the nozzle to the size we require very easy and very simple and all I'm going to do now is gently just feed it into the crack and as you can see it's got a very very low viscosity so it can penetrate really well into the crack just work in always try and work out try and chase the air out of the crack like so Doesn't matter if you over spill. Uh, the key thing is that you've applied enough for it to, to penetrate right down into the uh, cut that you've made into the floor. Just overcoming it, and making sure. As you can see from the first one I've done, which is really good, I can see it's penetrated in. Uh, and I'll go back and 
pour some more in there in a minute. See how it's dropped down. You can see it's gone right down into the crack, and then I'll just uh, top it up. And you've got about a 10 minute working time with this product, and there's enough in this kit to do a four lineal meter crack. Uh, but as I said earlier on, if you've got a, a shorter expanse to do, then obviously you can make up your, your own little kit using uh, the bottles if you've kept behind. You can always also use this product if you're getting difficulty fitting metal trims um, and different things like that. It can be used as a bonding agent uh, for bonding, as you say, door plates, door trims, expansion, uh, metal expansion strips and stuff like that if you're struggling to get it fixing. Uh, but but uh, it can also be used for that. So as you can see, it's gone in nice and clear. I'm just uh, making sure it's not going to. Uh, uh, I've filled the cracks fully. Uh, now, what we now do with the product is get a flat blade, put a paint scraper, a flat bladey trowel, or something like that, and we just flatten it off over the surface like so. Very easy and very simple, uh, easy fix to the crack and then what we do then is we use a little bit of fine sand, so like a silica sand and we just penetrate that, uh, uh, apply that over the surface and the reason we do that is so once it's gone off we get a good mechanical key to put our smoothing compound damp proof membrane over the top uh, and it's really fast this kit 20 minute walk on bit of floor cut a bit of dpm smoothing compound after 40 minutes when you're sand blinding don't worry really really cover it right over and then once it's gone off after your 20 minutes get your vacuum and vacuum off any excess and just finally obviously i've got some leftover residue on my trowel you can always use the ardex wipes are really good for getting this type of material off for epoxy DPMs uh, this type of material as you can see how easy that has been to get off okay and that's a crack repair very simple very easy uh, thank you very much